Hey, what's up everybody? Figured I would give a little update on where I'm at in the uh, 250R Rotax conversion project. Uh, I've been working on collecting some different parts here. Um, the biggest things that I've been working on recently is these custom uh, Cometic spacer plate and uh, assortment of some different gaskets here to work on basically trying to get my deck heights and stuff dialed in. I've got um, some different thicknesses here. Let's see, this is the uh, 60 thousandths base gasket. This is a 40 something if I recall correctly, 47. And then this is just basically a, a normal OEM one. Um, I ended up with a 3 uh custom aluminum spacer plate without the, uh, the water ports cut out. Um, you can see the original gasket here. This is what I sent off to Cometic as a sample has these cutouts. And because the 250R cases basically do not flow the water through them, um, that had to be closed off. On the actual ski snowmobile, this whole area down in here is actually a water cavity. And there's the water pump, from what I've seen on the schematics, basically comes out and up. And then there is a uh, an outlet here that runs both directions for the coolant loop. So the water would basically come down through the top of the, the head cylinder, etc., down into the cases and then loop out. And obviously I can't do that here practically. So what I did was basically just get spacer plate and gaskets to cap off the uh, bottom of the cylinder so that I wouldn't have that problem. Um, I still have to kind of determine exactly how I'm going to loop the uh, uh, the coolant flow through. Um, I'm just not real 100% sure on that. What I've been trying to focus on lately was basically get all my gaskets, get my other stuff so that I can basically put the thing together enough to leak down test it. Um, you know, all my gaskets, my seals, um, intake. Uh, Dad and I did make an exhaust flange here. It's not the most prettiest looking thing in the world, but it's going to function totally fine. Um, I've got a uh, top end gasket kit coming um, to, for a head gasket and, well, really it's O-rings, um, but for that sort of stuff. So that's where I'm working. I wanted to get basically everything to do the leak down test first. If it passes the leak down test, um, you know, pretty much from there it's smoother sailings. Um, you know, I just have to do the water ports and the coolant lines um, and just a few other minor things. And then basically it's, it's you know, time for assembly. I still have to buy a crank. Um, but other than that, you know, if, if the thing makes it through the leak down test, you know, if I have to kind of work on some gasket surfaces and things like that, um, that's, that's the most critical thing. Because if the thing won't hold a vacuum, the whole project's worthless. It'll never one run worth of crap. It's, it's got to be able to, to hold a leak down. So in addition to the gaskets here and the plates and stuff, um, picked up a sweet single uh, V-Force 3 reed cage. Guy was selling the cage and a uh, factory two-piece two -piece intake um, on eBay for like 50 bucks. And I happened to just send him a message, and I was like, I only need to re-cage. We take 35 for it, and he did. So that worked out pretty nice. The um, Some of the other ones here that I've had to kind of check around with, this is another one that um, one of the guys off the board gave to me uh, to, to check out. And see, this is, a, this is all a single piece. This boot does not come off from the cage. So there's some differences in the years and stuff as far as which ones you can use. And of course, this is a straight intake. You can see if you basically slide it on here, it, it, it's going to not work for how the 250R carburetor has to kind of be angled off. So, um, so I've got this cage, and there's a little bit of a... Let's get this slid around where you can see here. There's a little bit of a... Uh, clearance issue right in here, but I do not have the spacer plate under the motor yet, so by the time that's lifted up with the gaskets and stuff, I should be able to clear this little corner of the case here. So basically there's the cage. Um, I have this sweet billet aluminum intake that um, came from uh, John Durost. Uh, he goes by John 370R on a lot of the different uh, forms, ATV riders, um, etc. He built a couple of these motors and, and had some of these intakes made. Um, 
I was looking at custom fab in one and I got to talking to him and this just really sounded like it would save me time more than anything. So I ended up uh, buying one of his extras he had. Dad's made a paper gasket here for the back. It still has got to be matched up, you know, the circle area here to the uh, reed opening. But, I mean, the bolt pattern and stuff is all good. I mean, that's going to fit on. It'll have the carburetor angled just really perfectly with the uh, 250R setup. So that'll be a good, good setup there. A, another thing here, probably seen it in the past video, but th this case was boogered up here, the shifter shaft, which isn't uncommon whenever the chain derails, pops down, breaks all, you can see this is broke off. The uh, clutch boss area is actually pretty decent though, but um, I have repaired these in the past. I did a set of CR500 cases one time and turned out fairly well. Um, what I've done basically now is I have purchased a drill bit that fits this inner diameter here for basically the same size as the shifting shaft itself. And what I'll do is basically split the cases back apart, um, turn it upside down so that this side of the case is down on the bed of the mill, and I'll line up the uh, the quill with this hole and come in here and drill out this where you know I've, I've built it back up with a weld. And then basically I can flip the cases back over leave the same drill bit in there and indicate back in from this direction. And then I bought a uh, end mill that's within like, I don't know, six or seven thousandths of being exactly what this seal surface is. Um, this will all be clamped back down, centered up in here, change bits to the uh, new end mill that I've got that's the same diameter here. And basically I'll be doing like a plunge cut straight in um, to cut all this boogered out down here that I had to build back up um, until I reach, you know, the depth of, of this here, the, the factory part. Um, getting a little closer, you can see that maybe. Is it gonna focus? There you go, you can kind of see. So anyways, that, that will then be repaired where it'll be fully, you know, functional um, as it was. You know, otherwise this was effectively a junk set of cases. And I knew that when I started off and that's why I started off on a bad pair of cases so that if something was irreparably screwed up that you know, I wasn't ruining a good set of 250R cases, but these are repairable. And I've got enough time and work into them now, and I'm pretty confident everything's going to be okay. After I make sure everything leaked down tests and I get that pass, I will be repairing that also. So these will be a usable set of cases. Um, so that's kind of the update on, uh, you know, where things are at. Um, hopefully Christmas, New Year's, I'll get a day or two free in here, and I can work on... Um, basically, you know, getting this thing finished up.